Alright, so another day, and another C++ program. This time, it's called Creating Multiple Objects, which is just going to expand upon our last um, program where we declared uh, one object. So, here, what we're going to do is we're going to start off with the same class um, that we that we used from our last program but notice um, this comment right here new I'm gonna be using this to point out any of the areas that include new information from the last program so it helps better you know cl um, clarify where th um, the new things are so we have you know the strings the variables well the string variable and the integer variables. Then we have the pl uh, public access identifier. So we have all this, remember all this. And then we have this thing right here called the setter prototype. So what it does is it will you'll type in void set values and then you just type in the data types and nothing else in parentheses. And what we need to do with that prototype is to put in this, what we call a definition block for the prototype, um, which the syntax looks like this, void dog semicolon or colon colon set values, then integer age, integer value, and then string color. So the double semicolons is called the scope resolution operator which ident identifies the class in which it resides. Here we uh, use some this statements, this equals age, equal age, and so on. So this um, equal, or not, e trying to say equal, but arrow, this arrow is a class pointer which explicitly refers to the class member. So if you were to do this arrow weight, this refers to the class member variable but just having weight refers to the argument. All right, and then in our main uh, main function or main method, whichever you like to call it, we got a couple new things here. So first, we um, you know we have the same information where we declared our dog class, Fido. We set values, but in a different format. Take a look at this. You put uh, the age slot right here, the weight right here, and the color right here. Um, on top of that, we got went ahead and declared um, a new uh, pet that we have here named Pooch. Uh, and um, we basically use the same syntax, except um, we... Um, start off with a different name and then set values so this one's an older dog heavier dog and is gray I, I take it that pooch is the same thing as uh, Fido based on these figures but older and apparently the fur grays out as well <laughs> um and then down here is just another basic uh string uh, output for strings so pooch is a you know then we use this get method here and then we get those things and then we string them together and then we uh, they both use the same output method let's run it all right so yes, so we have two objects that are based off the same class and they both work. Um, so this is the same old code from the last time. And then here, Pooch is a four-year-old dog, four-year-old gray dog rather, who weighs 18 pounds, who weights 18 pounds, excuse the grammar, and woof. So yeah. Um, there you have it. Um, it seems to work just fine, just like that. 
Let's run around one time real quick. 